I wanted to give everyone an update on what's going on with the Depew ASR litigation. Um, as many of you know, there are essentially uh, two courts where the cases have been consolidated. Um, there's a court in Toledo, Ohio that has uh, several thousand cases, and there's a court in San Francisco that has seven, several thousand cases. Um, most of our cases, uh, all except for one, are pending in the court in San Francisco. Um, the judge uh, in San Francisco, whose name is Judge Kramer, uh, has been uh, organizing the cases and as part of that process what he is um, about to do is issue an order uh, requiring the plaintiffs to uh, produce what they call plaintiff fact sheets. And this is a detailed questionnaire um, about each plaintiff's uh, personal medical history uh, earnings information. Uh, it seeks lots of information from each person. Um, all of our clients uh, should be receiving one of these plaintiff fact sheets fairly soon in the mail. Um, and when you do receive one of the plaintiff fact sheets, it's important to go through it, fill it out to the best of your ability, um, send it back to us, and we will type it up and put it into the proper format uh, for submission to the other side. Now, the purpose of getting all of these plaintiff fact sheets uh, from the plaintiffs in the cases is to allow the defendants to get an understanding of uh, the universe of cases out there. Uh, and hopefully what will happen is uh, once the defendants understand how many cases there are uh, and they understand how many revision surgeries there were, how many cases with revision surgeries that had problems, um, they will be in a better position to evaluate potential settlement of the cases. Um, if the cases do not settle, then the next step is what we call the uh, bellwether trial process. And what that means is the judge will pick a group of cases, um, uh, and it's usually somewhere between 10 and 20 cases, sometimes a little more, um, and those cases will be worked up for trial first. And the idea there is that as you work up actual cases for trial, um, uh, that will push uh, the parties to reach a hopefully a global resolution of all the cases. If the cases uh, are not resolved, then what you end up with is trials and juries issuing verdicts. And once juries issued verdicts, that should give the parties a better idea of what uh, the settlement value is of all the remaining cases. Um, and so that's that's why. Uh, Judge Kramer is ordering these plaintiff fact sheets uh, to be filled out by everybody. Um, and like I said, he will be shortly setting cases for trial. Now, at the same time uh, that all this is occurring, all of this organization is occurring um, uh, before Judge Kramer, we are on our side, on the plaintiff side, are uh, pursuing discovery uh, against the defendant. And what that means is we are currently in the process of obtaining documents from the defendant. And to date, I believe we have more than four million documents. Um, it is a huge process getting these documents. Um, but with the use of technology, we've been able to streamline the process. So we have ways of uh, collecting all of these documents, putting them into electronic format and uh, so that they're searchable, we can organize them, and we have over 200 plaintiff's lawyers from around the country who are able to review these documents online. Uh, and so what we have been able to do is go through these documents and find documents that are relevant, documents that are incriminating, and that process is currently ongoing. Uh, once we've been able to go through all these documents, the next step is to take depositions. And as far as depositions go, we, what that means is we will uh, be questioning Depew employees under oath um, about the ASR, about what they knew um, and when they knew it. And with the documents, that will help a lot uh, when we take these depositions. We'll know who to depose and we'll know what questions to ask. Um, so that's where we are on the case. Uh, things are moving forward. I know uh, for most of you, uh, they're not moving forward quick enough, but this is a, uh, a fairly long process. Um, hopefully we will see some uh, depositions occurring fairly soon. Um, we will uh, be getting more documents from the defendants. 
Um, and once we get uh, the judge to set some dates for these bellwether cases, um, things will start to move much quicker. Uh, and we will update you the next time uh, we hear from Judge Kramer and we've reached that point where we have trial dates set. If you have any questions, uh, always feel free to give myself a call um, or uh, the paralegal is primarily responsible for this case, Marilyn Thompson. Thanks.